Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my program. I appreciate you wherever you are connecting from. If you are joining me from any part of the world, I thank you very much for your contributions on this channel. Please kindly subscribe if you have not subscribed and also click the notification bell so that you be notified each time I upload a video. You will be among the first to receive it. In this channel, I bring information to your doorstep. I bring news from all channels, from every angle. Things that have to do about the world, things that have to do about Africa, more especially Nigeria. I bring it to your doorstep. Some informations that you ignore, some information that you cannot be able to come across. I look for them, I bring it to your doorstep for you to see. Every video you see on this channel is for educational purpose, to keep you up and get you aware of what is happening in the contraption called Nigeria, more especially. I bring the information to your doorstep. They are not lies. Most of the videos you're going to watch here are videos that are coming from the conventional media. And some of us sometimes are lazy to get into it. Some of us are, sometimes are too busy to be able to lay our hand on this. That is why I bring the videos to your doorstep. Watch from beginning to the end. Remember, these videos are for educational purposes so that you can be educated and know what is going on. Let us watch together. At the end, you can go to the comment section and put down your comments. Give your opinion. Say it the way you feel it. Nobody's going to come against you. It's a free world, and this is the social media where people say it and set the record straight exactly the way it is. Without being controlled, do that on the comment section. Let us watch the video together as it comes. Thank you. Arrested me during his tenure. Peter B even arrested me during his tenure. Let them let them divide this country. Let everybody go on his or her own way. That is the best thing. I don't have candidate to. I don't have. I cannot vote for Atiku. I cannot vote for Tinumbu. I cannot vote for B2B. I cannot vote for any of them. They are criminals. Now listen, report this thing that I'm going to tell you now. Whether you like it or not, fulanization is real. They are coming for you. They are not coming because of political party. They are not coming because you are PDP. They are not coming because you are APC. They are not coming because you are uh, Labour Party. They are coming to fulanize everywhere. Now, let me tell you, Yoruba people are in uh, Benin Republic. How many of the Yorubas have uh, bring them, oh, come to Nigeria and live because you are Yoruba? Igbo people are in, what in the Neko eat? Uh, Equatorial Guinea. Equatorial Guinea, indigenous. Igbo people. How many Igbos have gone there to tell them, oh, come and live in Nigeria because we are Igbo? But Fulanese went all the way, calling all the Fulani from every country to come and live in Nigeria because Nigeria is their estate. Fulanization of Nigeria is real. They are not doing it because you are Muslim. They are not doing it because you are Christian. They are doing it because they believe that Nigeria is the estate of their grandfather. Let me clear my stand. I don't have a candidate for any election. I cannot vote for Tunumbu. I cannot vote for Atiku. I cannot vote for P2B. I'm only a freedom fighter. Now, going back by, the, by your question, what happened yesterday, it is very, very shameful in the sense that you are going Muslim, Muslim ticket. No problem. Nobody is complaining. Why you bringing people who are actually not even Christians, giving them clothes for them to act as a Christian? It is shameful. It only shows one thing, that Nigeria, entire Nigeria is a scam. And it only shows another thing, that the foundation of Nigeria have rotten. Because if the foundation of Nigeria is not yet rotten, Muslim, Muslim ticket, nobody is complaining. Then you went and brought uh, unknown, unknown bishops, unknown pastors, unknown at Archbishop of Sambisa Forest into Abuja and you still want to claim to be a leader. My brother, let me tell you, all these crumbs of criminals masquerading as your leader that are only what, what they are what they care about is their pockets, not about you, not about your well-being. How much is the food stocks in the market? Is their children even in Nigeria? They spend your money. They eat your money, their children are schooling overseas, and they are just getting to become your president. I totally condemn what happened yesterday. It is shameful. And if you have brain, you protested for answers, and people, they shoot you, they kill you, 
And these same people is coming back to protest that they want to become president and you steal. If you have brain, say, let them, let them divide this country. Let everybody go on his or her own way. That is the best thing. I don't have candidate to, I don't have, I cannot vote for Atiku. I cannot vote for Tinumbu. I cannot vote for Peter Obi. Peter Obi even arrested me during his tenure. I cannot vote for any of them. They are criminals. Thank you. Sorry, sorry. excuse me. You said Peter B arrested you. Why? Yes. During Peter B tenure, I was a freedom fighter. I was the young guy arrested at Mpipa. During the invasion of Mpipa, they killed and massacred innocent people. That but, happened uh, August 4th, 2006, during the military invasion. I was arrested. I was manhandled. I was treated like a criminal. Lots of dead body. I saw lots of dead body in military vehicle right before me. A guy was shot right before me. And you still want me to go and vote for all of them. What I, Emmanuel, is asking Nigerians for is to ask and go to the street to protest that this government is over. Let them reshovel the government. Let them share the country. Let everyone. Sorry, excuse me. Where did this happen and how did you get out of it? <laughs> during, during that time, it was horror. When they arrest you, some of them are still in the prison now. Some of the people since 2000. One of the noticeable one is the one that they release. It's all, all over in the news now. The one in the in court after 15 years in detention. It's all over in the news. The one in the court. They were arrested just like as they arrested me. My own was miracle. I don't have to go to details of what happened, but I'm here now to answer your questions. But a lot of my friends are dead. A lot of them died. Young, promising people died because they won their freedom. Freedom fighters. So I, I say you are, I say you are from. I say, I say you are from Anambra State. No, I was born and brought up in Anambra State. I'm from Imo State. Look at my state. My state is even Sambisa Forest. Sambisa Forest uh, that you talk about in the north is in my state. Killing young people. And these people are coming back to tell you, vote 2023. By 2023, will you be alive? As they are killing you everywhere. There is uh, full and enhancement with the first you news people to report that they are... Uh, that they are bandits. There is nothing like bandits. All of them are full and men. Bandit does not exist. It is only orchestrated by the government in order to cover their crimes. They know that bandits are full and and they know that bandits are their, their people. They orchestrate it to cover their crimes. And everybody is talking about 2023 without talking about you can never move from here now to Ogun State with your mind calm every time you move in fear in Nigeria and you still talk about 2023. I pity everyone. Thank you very much. That now brings me to the question. What's really happening in Yimo City? Why the killings? Why the killings? You go and ask the governor. The governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodimma, invited the military to finish his king's men. Why? Go and ask the uh, 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 governor. There is uh, invasion into the bushes of Imo State, killing and pillaging, which was reported. It was reported even in the newspaper, even in the news. Those people that killed innocent people in Imo State have not been brought to book. When people protested, he invited the military to cover up the people committing the atrocity. And the rest becomes the story. The rest is what we are suffering in Imo State today. Even today, now it has already extended to the whole of the eastern region. You cannot move from here to here without with your security guaranteed. They are playing politics with people. <laughs> Ebu hadi chat oba kwa 
or the fair equine boom. Oh, five and twenty caterpillar boogie, more than ninety canoe, or Dobunelli, Mamu Carri Mamu. I am no no quabiana, well, it's a collapsing. Well, I say, come well here to quote it and no form. Ivo Martina came a lie, no Romo lie. O God of Gunna, O God of Gunna, I can't tell you who is on the job for. Can I deal with you now? You don't know who I am. You can't tell me what I'm going to do. I can't tell you who I am. I can't tell you who I am. I'm not from the same world. 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 Ni ikbadi na kutu na na ndi kanu ekebuene na mapya buri ebini ebini na zobioko ikangi bodi ejeve eke na na mani boni na ikangi boba sirike mazi na ndi kanu okwe biene okwe biene akwisedi oiba doti riki bodo gu aja ni weke na muda dunki boni na eke na mu muasi balundi biafula mebu. Ekenem, he can't get me off from you, Jeje. Ekenem, how to put on a mebi? Can't be worry or fun. Oh, now I'm going to get you now. Let me see you. Oh, me boni, na di no na ipolo no bodo ibo. Oh, to get you now. Let me see you. No, we don't know what is that. Manda to nunga wole me gida be bai. Manda to nunga no bodo ibo. Ndi boni na di be off from you. Eh, let me see you. No, 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 what is that? Wa, kwa no no mi se. Well, one in purple mantle, just the same way Chineke and Chupo Kabian near Moses mantle. Yeah. And my capital office in this morning, Chineke and his son, take this thing and give it to your brother. On the way. One way he was a Chete here. He had it's over 200 years. Chete here and Bob now. Come on now, but one day he'll be here. Of a mantle of leadership. You know? Come on now. 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 I'm very, very happy to see you. It's an opportunity. It's a privilege to meet a great man. So far, I think America, uh, the tsunami is here. Mm -hmm. The two versions of what the of Islam is on, on the, to come here to go there. Chicago was drinking the sea. It's here, I like Chicago. It's a very good thing. And I'm very, very happy. I, I'm very, very grateful. I'm very, very I'm very, very much. And I will talk to you about this. I'll treasure you for as long as I live. Now and always, I'll tell you this. Yeah, yeah. It's, 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 it's made from wood. I like things that are naturally made, either from wood or from stone. New York time. So this is this is fabulous. I'll tell you this. Thank you very much. I'm going to say it. 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 Muslim, Muslim ticket, nobody is complaining. Then you went and brought uh, unknown, unknown bishops. Unknown pastors, unknown arch, 
Archbishop of Sambisa Forest into Abuja and you still want to claim to be a leader. My brother, let me tell you, all these crumbs of criminals masquerading as your leader that are only what, what, they are, what they care about is their pockets, not about you, not about your well-being. How much is the food stocks in the market? Is their children even in Nigeria? They spend your money, they eat your money, their children are schooling overseas and they are just getting to become your president. I totally condemn what happened yesterday. It is shameful. And if you have brain, you protested for answers. And people, they shoot you, they kill you. And these same people is coming back to protest that they want to become president and you still. If you have brain, say, let them, let them divide this country. Let everybody go on his or her own way. That is the best thing. I don't have candidate. I don't have, I cannot vote for Atiku. I cannot vote for Tinumbu. I cannot vote for Peter Obi. Peter Obi even arrested me during his tenure. I cannot vote for any of them. They are criminals. Thank you. Sir, sorry, excuse me. You said Peter Obi arrested you. Why? Yes. During Peter Obi tenure, I was a freedom fighter. I was the young guy arrested at Mpipa during the invasion of Mpipa. They killed and massacred the innocent people. That but, happened uh, August 4th, 2006, during the military invasion. I was arrested, I was manhandled, I was treated like a criminal. Lots of dead body, I saw lots of dead body in military vehicle right before me. A guy was shot right before me. And you still want me to go and vote for all of them. What I, Emmanuel, is asking Nigerians for is to ask and go to the street to protest that this government is over. Let them reshovel the government. Let them share the country. Let everyone. Sorry, excuse me. Where did this happen and how did you get out of it? <laughs> During, during that time, it was horror. When they arrest you, some of them are still in the prison now. Some of the people since 2000, one of the noticeable one is the one that they release. It's all, all over in the news now. The one in, the, in court after 15 years in detention. It's all over in the news. The one in the court, they were arrested just like as they arrested me. My own was miracle. I don't have to go to details of what happened, but I'm here now to answer your questions. But a lot of my friends are dead. A lot of them died. Young, promising people died because they won their freedom. Freedom fighters. So I, I say you are, I say you are from I say, I say you are from Anambra State. No, I was born and brought up in Anambra State. I'm from Imo State. Look at my state. My state is even Sambisa Forest. Sambisa Forest uh, that you talk about in the north is in my state. Killing young people. And these people are coming back to tell you, vote 2023. By 2023, will you be alive? As they are killing you everywhere. There is uh, Fulani Hesman with the first you news people to report that they are... Uh, that they are bandits. There is nothing like bandits. All of them are full and ears men. Bandit does not exist. It is only orchestrated by the government in order to cover their crimes. They know that bandits are full and ears, and they know that bandits are their, their people. They orchestrate it to cover their crimes, and everybody is talking about 2023 without talking about you can never move from here now to o o Ogun State. With your mind calm, every time you move in fear in Nigeria, and you still talk about 2023, I pity everyone. Thank you very much. That now brings me to the question: What's really happening in Imo State? Why the killings? Why the killings? You go and ask the governor. The governor of Imo State, Hope Uzodima, invited the military to finish his king's men. Why? Go and ask the uh, 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 governor. There is uh, invasion into the bushes of Imo State, killing and pillaging. 
which was reported. It was reported even in the newspaper, even in the news. Those people that killed innocent people in Imo State have not been brought to book. When people protested, he invited the military to cover up the people committing the atrocity and the rest becomes the story. The rest is what we are suffering in Imo State today. Even today now, it has already extended to the whole of the eastern region. You cannot move from here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have been educated with this video. I hope you have learned something from the video you just watched. Please go to the comment section and put down your comments. Whatever you think about the video you have watched or anything you have learned that you wanted to share together, go to the comment section and keep yourself busy. It's a free place where people share their opinion. And please, if you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time a video comes out. And also, share the video to your family and friends. Share it to all platforms so that people can get aware of what is happening in the world, mainly in the contraption called Nigeria. We have to keep people on their toe, keep people informed on what is going on. That is exactly what we are doing. Every video you are watching in this channel is for the purpose of education and nothing more. Thank you so much for watching and remember us. Bye-bye. See you again.